Hi, I would like to talk to you about third-party cookies for a moment because in Blackboard Learn it is necessary at this time to have third-party cookies enabled for external applications to have single sign-on. So first of all, cookies are small files that websites can write on your computer and uh, they are commonly used. Most of them are not a security threat of any kind. Now, in recent years, cookies uh, have been a subject of debates. In fact, in Europe, uh, it is necessary for websites to ask you before they can post cookies. So, uh, what that means is that most websites simply say, uh, we need to post cookies on your computer. Would you like to enter our website? And if you say no, then you cannot log in, you cannot use the website. So, it is a necessary technology. But third-party cookies are uh, an interesting development. What this means is that as uh, Blackboard, say, posts a cookie on your browser, another website, perhaps Echo360, can read that cookie. Now, cookies do not have um, sensitive information in them. They might indicate uh, that you are logged in to a website. And if your cookies were publicly available, uh, it is possible that hackers could uh, do cross-site scripting uh, type of an attack and to take advantage of your browser. But when it comes to third-party cookies, uh, by now there is an understanding that uh, there is a balance to this risk and in general it is best to have these enabled. In fact, the only browser that currently disables third-party cookies by default is Safari. Now, in a moment, I will show you how these cookies work in Firefox, in Chrome, Opera, and Safari. But we will concentrate on how to enable third-party cookies in Safari so that Safari can work with uh, our vendors like Echo360 and some of the other modules that we use inside of Blackboard. So if you would like to read more about third-party cookies, there, there's plenty of information. Uh, I recommend to use uh, Mozilla or another uh, browser uh, technology company uh, so that you do not uh, go down the rabbit hole of opinions and uh, unfortunately the, the, the debate. So um, as uh, Mozilla mentions, uh, large companies like uh, Microsoft uh, use third-party cookies um, because their domains uh, are different and so they the, the websites that they host need to communicate with one another. Okay, so with this information uh, in place um, we are going to again distinguish between third-party cookies and the regular cookies. The regular cookies are cookies that are written by say Blackboard Learn um, and uh, only Blackboard can read them. Oftentimes, cookies that are stored in memory are only readable to the application that placed them there. When the cookies are written to the disk, then they can become uh, third-party cookies. Let's start with Firefox, because Firefox approaches the subject from two perspectives. Firefox actually implemented a do not track option in addition to our ability to disable third-party cookies. To see these options, we go to Firefox uh, Preferences, and in the Privacy section, we are going to see a big checkbox here for tell size that I do not want to be tracked. So, third-party cookies have been used to track ads. Let's say you are going to Amazon and you are looking at telescopes and uh, you really like this Orion telescope and you put it in your wish list, then you go to another website that has to do with astronomy and suddenly Amazon on the side is displaying to you, hey, we have a deal on the telescope that you were looking for. And so this type of cooperation often happens because of third-party cookies. And Firefox says, okay, if you don't like that, then just check this box. And now Firefox is going to prompt you, do you want to see these ads? Uh, how do you want to handle this scenario? So that's a nice way of resolving here this issue of I don't want to be tracked and information about me shouldn't be shared. 
to really making some of the um, okay integrations still available and still working. But if you'd like to uh, disable third-party cookies in Firefox, you drop down here this history to use custom settings, and then you have an option here, accept cookies from sites, uh, accept third-party cookies, and you can switch that to never. And of course, if someone has configured your browser not to accept cookies, and Echo 360 isn't working, this is how you undo it. Let's take a look at another browser. Uh, let's move to Chrome. In Chrome, we'll go to Preferences, and in Preferences, scroll down until you see Advanced Settings. Keep scrolling down, and now we have the option to go to Content Settings, and here's where we can handle the enabling or disabling of third-party cookies. All right, let's move to the next browser. It's going to be Opera. In Opera, we'll go to Preferences, and in Preferences to Privacy, and we are going to scroll down until we see cookies and block third-party cookies is uh, an option here. Now I mentioned earlier that Safari is the only browser that went ahead and uh, disables cookies, third-party cookies by default. Now for a while Firefox um, and, uh, and, and the go governing uh, body of, uh, of this project they were considering doing the same, but they did not. In fact, the other browsers, again, found other ways to control the tracking of ads. But Safari, under Preferences, under, again, our Privacy tab, has this option, Block Cookies and Other Website Data, and the first option from third parties and advertisers. And so, here we would say, Block Cookies, Never. So we want to allow websites to mark our browser. Again, what this allows a website to do is when you are logged in, the website can mark your browser with a little cookie and some unique identifier saying you are now logged in. And as you go from web page to web page, they know that you are logged in. That's what cookies do. And uh, the third party cookies simply allow a single sign on and another website to also uh, recognize that you are already, already logged in somewhere else. Well, I hope that this was helpful to you. And uh, uh, when you use uh, Blackboard Learn, you will have to have these third-party cookies uh, enabled. Thank you.